Mr. Galloway, it's an honor to interview you. You're welcome. Just to get a, a bit of a background for our readers, at what point in your life did you decide to get into politics? And what made you become so passionate and involved in the Middle East? That midsummer day, a beautiful sunny day, I remember it as if it were yesterday. Uh, although it's 32 years ago now, more than. Arab man, student. He, ex he said that he was from the local university. He was the head of the General Union of Palestinian Students. And could he come in and speak to the leaders about Palestine? I told him there's no leaders here, but you can come and tell me and I'll tell them. He spoke for about two hours in such a mesmerizing way about what had happened to the Palestinians that by the end of the conversation I was a soldier in the revolution, uh, which in a way I've, I've remained ever since. It's been the longest love of my life. Um, two years after that, just, just under two years, I went to Lebanon when the late President Arafat, God rest his soul, was there uh, in the Fakani district of Beirut. And I met him on my third night there. And something happened again, Kismet. He took to me like a son from the very first minute. Before one hour, he was feeding me from his uh, hands. He asked me not to uh, leave with the others when the others left, to stay and learn uh, more. And uh, I saw President Arafat almost every day for almost a year, 10 months. Every day almost I saw him. I was with him, traveling with him in his Jeep and uh, living very close to him in the Fakani district near the Kola factory. And uh, I fell head over heels in love with the Palestinian cause and by extension with the Arab world more generally. Um, I only left, in fact you might never have heard of me, I might be dead. Uh, I only left because whilst I was in Beirut, I received word that I had been appointed as the full-time organizer of the Labour Party in my city, the youngest ever uh, full-time organizer in the history of the Labour Party. And I had long discussions uh, with the President about uh, whether to stay or, or go. It slightly complicated things that I, I had fallen in love with a, a Palestinian woman there. Um, who's now the mother of six, so I can't mention her name. Um, but 